Walking down the dried up gorge, an uneasy, dreadful feeling fell down upon the adventurers. A sudden, frenetic bat of wings woke up the eerie silence. Everyone stopped and looked around. Ah, just some birds in distress, <laughs> said one of the adventurers. Are they? asked Florentia, pointing up to the left. Two red eyes, brimming with pure hate and evil, were consuming the sight of the unawares. A grotesque, demonic creature, half ape, half boar, was ready to ambush them at any moment. Another one, just as foul-looking, appeared on the other side. Nalfeshne. Both made a deep, guttural sound, mirroring each other as they called upon the darkness of the abyss, summoning one more of their kind, right in front of the group. Baldre, your faithful servant pleads to shield her and her companions from the perils of this dark hour, chanted Florentia, lifting up her shield, emblazoned with a candle, a holy symbol of her religious order. A magical twilight made out of hundreds, thousands of incorporeal candles formed itself as a protective field around her, extending two, three dozen feet or so in all directions. Stay inside, she yelled at her companions. My goddess will embolden your hearts, ease your pain and soothe your wounds made by these wretched demons. A nasty skirmish broke out immediately. Nalfeshne tried to instill fear in the hearts of adventurers with horrific demonic lights. Yet, Florentia's divine candle bubble calmed the adventurers' minds. The demons were gnawing at and scratching her companions like rabid dogs, but the protective twilight gathered around the cuts and bite marks, guided by some higher divine power. Florentia doubled down activating a more destructive form of spiritual magic that manifested itself as brightly glowing, burning candles. Together with her companions, she pressed forward and attacked the demons in full force. The grotesque fiends soon found themselves overwhelmed. One of them got sent back to Abyss rather quickly, ganged upon by the sneaky rogue and the ferocious paladin. The other two teleported away and started fleeing but not before getting swarmed by arrows and long-distance harmful spells. Only one survived the botched ambush attempt in the end. With the danger gone, Florentia immediately dropped on her knees and started murmuring something to herself. Sister, are you okay? Asked her the sorceress. Patience, my dear, let me pay dues to my goddess. As long as Baldrace graces me with her selfless divinity, the hearth of the eternal candle will keep us safe. And this is how Florentia, the candle keeper, kept her party safe in one of her numerous expeditions into the strange multiverse. This short story is actually based on a D&D session that I played this character in, so if you fancy a more support-oriented character like this one, channel some divine candles around the like, subscribe and bell buttons below to get notified when the build overview video comes out. Thanks for watching, Min Max Munchkin out, talk to you soon.